Yo, we just got some crazy news for Wuthering Waves. Duro dropped a notice and after reading it, I think there's two things. This is either super bad or very good. So we have some compensations, some fixes, some quality of life changes and some banner changes. So first they talked about echoes. They said that echo development feels grindy and inadequate energy materials. So they said that they will change that. First, on this version, they will launch a limited time echo materials double yield event. We will adjust the the progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development. Also, they will remove the reward cutscene of the tacit field, which is so annoying. They said that the yield of echoes and echo development materials will be increased, and in upcoming updates, they will introduce the waveplate storage system, the same one that exists in Hawkeye Star Rail. Now they started apologizing for so many things. This looks good and bad in the same time, but in a nutshell, the first apology, we got 1 million shell credit. For the second Second apology, we got 20 crystal solvents. One crystal solvent is 60 wave plates. Now, because of the localization issue with the Jian weapon, we will get five poles on the weapon banner. I mean, it's okay for people who didn't like take that, but especially for people in Japan, the way they handled that was so poor. That that was so bad. But this will take that. After that, they talked about the event rewards. They said that we will introduce a new limited time special event weathering exploration. This this is happening in this version and the event will give 800 asteroids, 2 elite echoes and tuners and things like that. And they gave more promises. In the future they will make the event better. After that they talked about the story and localization and they said we have been listening. Oh no. Anyway they, they said that they will try to fix the story. We will get early access to Yinlin's story and Yinlin's banner. We have decided to advance the release of subsequent content in version 1. 1.0 starting on June 6th. This release will introduce the companion story of Yinlin, so we will get Yinlin's banner in 4 days now. The version will end in June 28th, and after that we will go immediately to 1.1 after maintenance, we will get Jinxi and Shang Li and a new boss Zhue. So there is two theories for that. The first theory is the bad one, which is they probably had to meet a quota for the first month for the investors and things like that, and they didn't meet it, so they they're trying to push Yinlin as fast as possible, which looks so bad. Oh, the second thing, which is very reasonable, is that 1.1 was coming out in the same day as Zenless Zone Zero, which was so stupid. I'm so happy that they moved that. But as I said, it looks good and bad in the same time. I'm not sure which one is correct. These are all speculations, by the way. But anyway, anyway, we will get 10 pulls. <laughs> then they talked about the optimization of the combat, and they talked about the camera. In recent update we have disabled the combat camera correction feature on PC by default. We have also optimized the default values and ranges for combat camera settings. Also, they talked about the aggro stopping from happening and the bosses exiting combat. They said that we will get like a warning to know if we're out of combat. They also talked about ghost touch issues on mobile, delayed availability of custom key binding, which is weird. Why do you have to level up to get that? They did controller mode experience optimizations. And lastly, they talked about about the other contents, like some sound bugs, performance issues with crashes and instability, updates to depth of elusive realm in 1.1, and they said that they will add new content in this mode, new buffs, new characters, new challenges and mechanics. I'm so excited for that actually. I don't know why they put it in the end. Then they thanked everybody and that's it. You can look at this in two different ways. Either they're so desperate and they want the money now and they need help and in th they're in a bad position or they're trying to push the schedule because they need to do it and they don't want to do a direct competition with a new Hoyoverse game, which is smart. Or it's actually both, who knows? Now the best thing is the devs are actually listening. I don't know, like I don't care about this stupid meme that people are doing. The devs are actually listening you might lose some confidence in some of what they say. And a lot of that is just like promises, but in the same time, they know the problems. They're trying to fix it. You know what's crazy? Since Yellen is coming in like four days, if you don't subscribe, you're gonna lose your 50-50. Bye-bye.